Kathleen Turner, celebrated for her remarkable talent and performances in a variety of iconic films, has never been one to conform to the traditional expectations of Hollywood stardom. While she's garnered critical acclaim for her roles, she's earned a reputation as a formidable presence on and off screen. Join Faxverse as we present Kathleen Turner Confesses Why She's a Nightmare to Work With. A Difficult Actress? Kathleen Turner has faced occasional criticism for being difficult to work with throughout her career, and here are a few examples. The Jewel of the Nile in 1985. While Kathleen Turner and Michael Douglas successfully re-teamed for the sequel to Romancing the Stone, rumors circulated about tensions on set. Some reports suggested Turner and Douglas had disagreements about their respective roles and creative directions for the film. But despite the rumors, the movie was a commercial success. The War of the Roses, 1989 In this dark comedy, Turner reunited with Michael Douglas and director Danny DeVito. While the film received critical acclaim for its dark humor, it was said that tensions between Turner and Douglas ran high during filming due to the emotionally intense nature of their roles. Undercover Blues in 1993 This action comedy starred Kathleen and Dennis Quaid as a married couple who are also secret agents. There were reports of disagreements and tension on set, though the film didn't receive as much attention as some of her earlier work. Theater Productions Kathleen Turner is also a renowned theater actress, and there have been occasional reports of clashes and disagreements during her stage performances. Her strong personality and commitment to her craft have sometimes led to creative differences with directors and fellow actors in the theater world. The Serial Mom Shoot Serial Mom is a 1994 comedy directed by John Waters, known for his unconventional and often controversial filmmaking style. It stars Kathleen Turner in the lead role and is known for its darkly comedic take on suburban life and the concept of a perfect housewife turned serial killer. Waters is a filmmaker famous for transgressive and subversive styles, often tackling taboo subjects with humor and satire. And Serial Mom is no exception. It explores the dark side of suburbia with Waters' unique touch. Kathleen was originally hesitant to take on the role of Beverly Sutphin, the titular character who goes on a murderous rampage in her idyllic suburban neighborhood. Her agents and managers reportedly advised her against it, fearing that it might harm her wholesome image. But Turner became intrigued by the role and believed in the potential of the project. She ended up fighting with her agents and managers to secure the role of Beverly. She recognized the opportunity to challenge her image and showcase her range as an actress. Her decision ultimately paid off as her performance in Serial Mom was widely praised, and she received critical acclaim for her ability to blend her trademark charisma with the character's dark and psychotic tendencies. Serial Mom has gained a cult following over the years, thanks in part to its unique blend of humor, satire, and social commentary. The film's exploration of taboos, like domestic violence and serial murder, through a comedic lens was groundbreaking at the time and has influenced subsequent works in the dark comedy genre. Kathleen's Take Kathleen has long faced a reputation as being difficult to work with and has even been labeled a diva in the entertainment industry. But she's been vocal about her perspective on this reputation and how it reflects broader gender stereotypes and biases in the industry. She's acknowledged that her reputation as a difficult actress to work with is often rooted in gender biases that exist in Hollywood and the entertainment industry as a whole. She's highlighted that strong and assertive women are often unfairly labeled as difficult or divas when their male counterparts might be seen as assertive and confident. She hasn't been shy about addressing the double standards and gender biases she's encountered in her career. She's expressed frustration with the industry's tendency to pigeonhole women and limit their opportunities based on stereotypes. And she has used her platform to advocate for greater gender equality and representation in Hollywood. Interestingly, Kathleen Turner has also stated she doesn't mind the reputation that has been assigned to her. She sees it as a reflection of her strong and independent personality, which she's proud of. She's remarked she'd rather be true to herself and her convictions than conform to societal expectations of how a woman should behave in the industry. 
Despite the challenges and labels, her commitment to her craft and dedication to delivering powerful performance has never wavered. Kathleen and Nick Cage's Feud Kathleen Turner and Nicolas Cage, two highly talented actors, worked together on the 1986 film Peggy Sue Got Married. While the film was a critical and commercial success, it wasn't without its fair share of conflicts and tensions behind the scenes. Several factors contributed to the disagreements between Kathleen and Nicholas. Method Acting Differences Nick Cage is known for his intense method acting approach, which involves immersing himself completely in his character. During filming of Peggy Sue Got Married, Cage's method acting often clashed with Kathleen Turner's more traditional approach. Cage's tendency to stay in character even when the cameras weren't rolling could be seen as eccentric and distracting to some of his co-stars. Turner and Cage had differing opinions about the direction of their characters as well. Turner reportedly wanted a more straightforward and traditional portrayal of their roles, while Cage pushed for a more eccentric and unpredictable approach, led to disagreements about how scenes should be played and what the tone of the film should be. The creative differences between the two actors spilled over onto the set, leading to onset tensions and arguments. Personal issues also played a role. Cage was going through a difficult time in his personal life, which may have contributed to his intense and erratic behavior on set. Additionally, Turner has been open about her struggles with alcoholism during that period, which could have added to the tensions. The film was ultimately completed, though, and released to positive reviews. Both Turner and Cage received critical acclaim for their performances, with Cage earning an Academy Award nomination for Best Actor. Kathleen Feuds with Burt Reynolds Kathleen and Burt Reynolds worked together on the 1988 film Switching Channels. Unfortunately, the collaboration was marred by conflicts and tensions. Several factors contributed to it. One of the main sources of conflict was their differing approaches to the material and their respective roles. Turner reportedly had a more serious and methodical approach to her acting, while Reynolds was known for his comedic flair and improvisational style. These contrasting approaches clashed on set, leading to disagreements about how scenes should be played and the overall tone of the film. Both were established stars with strong personalities and egos. This led to power struggles over creative control and decision-making on the set. Reynolds, who also directed the film, had a significant say, and how certain scenes were shot and edited, which may have led to even more friction with Turner. The two actors reportedly clashed openly and exchanged heated words during filming, which disrupted the production and made headlines in the media. They openly criticized each other in the press, and their public feuding became a talking point in the lead-up to the film's release. Despite the conflicts and tensions, Switching Channels was completed and released in 1988 but the film received mixed reviews from both critics and audiences. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you think that women who are labeled difficult to work with in Hollywood are being judged by a double standard and that the men often display similar or worse behavior? Let us know in the comments section below.